So I had a dream last night. And my friend, I'm not really a dreamer. You know, God don't really give me dreams. You know, he, he give me some poly, what they say, every blue boom. But God gave me a dream. And when I woke up from this dream, he gave me the interpretation of the dream as well. And I know it's for people. I know it's either for you. It could be for me. Something that I need to allow God to search out in me. But I want to share this with you. And I pray that it blesses you. I pray, pray that it convicts you. I pray that it draws you to a place of 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 comfort with God. I pray that it, you open your heart up and your eyes to see. And I hope it touch you in a place where only God can touch you at. Be blessed. So, in my dream, I was on a football team. I was a football player in this dream. And uh, we was having a game. And uh, it was a stadium full of hundreds and hundreds of people. And uh, this entire dream was a manifestation of a play. And I love that God gave me this dream, something he knew that I was familiar with. Because I played football in high school. And uh, I know the positions that every player uh, sits at or, or is appointed at uh, on the football field. I know whether they are a defensive lineman, a running back, or a tailback, fullback, whether they are safety, whether they are a linebacker. And so I'm thankful that God gave me this type of dream, something that he knows that I'm familiar with. In this specific dream, I was a middle linebacker. You got the middle linebacker and you got the two outside linebackers. So I was on the defensive side in this dream. I played defense. And when the play began, when the quarterback said Hut, he tossed the ball to their running back. And this guy started running and he ran quite fast. And when he got a few, gained a few yards, when he got to the sideline, our outside linebacker hit him. Boom! And hit him out of bounds. And this contact was really loud. If you've ever went to a football game or whatever, if you have ever heard a helmet hit another helmet or shoulder pad hit shoulder pad, it's a loud impact. Like, boom! And when he hit them out of bounds, you can hear the, all of the people, hundreds of people, you can hear them saying, ooh, really loud. And when this happened, the running back immediately jumped up and went over to our teammate, the outside linebacker that tackled him. He ran up to him, snatched his helmet off and his chest strap, just snatched it off his head and started beating him in the face. And they ended up on the ground, and the running back started stomping him in the face with his cleats. And when I seen it, I immediately ran over to the sideline, out of bounds where they were, and I tackled the guy, the running back, that was stomping my teammate, just stomping him with his cleats, man. It was crazy. And I tackled him, and when I tackled him, I fell on top of him, and I grabbed his jersey, and... I drew his attention to me. I said, look, man, I know you've been hurt, man. I know that you've been pain, been in a lot of pain. I know that it's painful, but man, Jesus loves you. And you don't got to keep being hurt like this. You don't got to keep being offended like this. And immediately this guy just started crying and uh, people just started circling around us. This guy just started crying and I hugged him and he was just crying in my arms. And this was the end of my dream. And the interpretation is this. Maybe you that running back. Maybe time and time again in your life, you've encountered hurt. You've had an encounter with pain. Or you've had an encounter with betrayal. Time and time again. And you keep running and running and running. But it seems like that hurt, that pain, that betrayal keep making an impact on you. And maybe you just keep coming in contact with the hurt, with people hurting you. 
people betraying you. Keep coming in contact with the pain and embarrassment. And my friend, this running back, soon as he was tossed the ball, the way that he ran, he ran, it's like he just knew what he was what was about to happen to him. He was looking forward to it. He was already expecting it. Already. So he tried to run as fast as he can to avoid it. But he couldn't get away from it. But instead, he made contact with it. And it was at that point where it wasn't enough just being hurt or feeling that pain at the moment. But when the people started screaming, ooh, that embarrassment is what topped it off. And he got to the point where he was sick and tired of it. He had been holding it in all of this time. As many times he's been running the ball, I don't know. But he's been holding it in all this time until it got to the point where he let it all out because he didn't give it over to Jesus Christ. And when he let it out, it caused somebody else who we came in contact with. It caused them to, to be hurt. To go through something that they didn't have to go through. This guy was beating this guy so bad, man. I just had to run over there and tackle him. And maybe you're this running back, my friend. And maybe people don't hurt you so much throughout your life. You've been through so much pain, so much betrayal, so much embarrassment. And you've just been holding it in over the years. For long periods of time, you've just been holding it in. And it's just been building up and building up. And my friend, when that one defense come your way, the devil go send it. When the devil send that one defense, it's going to get you to the point where you're just going to explode. And every person you come in contact with, you're going to hurt them. You're going to cause them to go through pain, whether it's physically or emotionally, because you haven't handed over those things that has hurt you. You haven't handed it over to the Lord. You still holding those burdens in. You still holding on to things from the past. And Jesus said, come to me and I give you rest for your souls. And just like this running back, my friend, he just needed somebody to, to give him a hug, man. He just needed somebody to, to, to tell them that they understand what he's going through. And that's why I'm here, my friend, to tell you I understand. I understand what it's like to go through betrayal. I understand what it's like to go through pain. I know what I understand what it's like to go through a heartbreak, to go through embarrassment time and time again in your life. But I'm here to tell you, my friend, you have to let that stuff go. You have to forgive. Jesus said, if we don't forgive people for trespassing against us, he's not going to forgive us. Because it's only when we forgive, my friend, that's when we will finally be free. That's when the Lord will give us a peace that surpasses all understanding. And I know this from experience. I am a witness. And my friend, you got to get to that point where you re you're ready and willing to let it all go. You got to let go of the things of the past. It's just, it could just be that one thing like the young rich ruler. He kept holding on to that one thing when Jesus was right there in his face presenting a great opportunity to him. And my friend, the Lord presenting the same opportunity to you. That if you just forgive, you give it all over to him. The Bible says, cast your cares upon the Lord because he cares for you. If you give your burdens over to the Lord, the Lord will set you free and he'll give you peace. Forgiveness is not just for them, but it's for yourself. So you will no longer be bound by the spirit of unforgiveness and end up in hell, my friend. So there is someone who can fill that void in your heart. Someone that can set you free. And take that hurt, that pain, that betrayal, that embarrassment out of your heart and give you a new heart. And his name is Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. Hallelujah. He loves you, my friend. And it's not his will for you to continue to be bound. He said he came to set the captives free. He came to set at liberty those who are held captive. The Lord died so that you can be free, my friend. And if you just humble yourself and be willing to forgive them and let it go, the Lord will give you a supernatural peace that surpasses all understanding. And you will finally be able to live this life free in total freedom with no more worries, no more stress, no more frustrations. 
And not only that, but you won't be offended. Things will not offend you anymore because you will be resting in that peace that Jesus gives you. He said in John 16, 33, in the world, you shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer for I have overcame the world. He said in the book of John, peace I give to you, my peace I leave to you, not as the world give to you, I give unto you. He said he going to give us a peace that surpasses all understanding. And that's what he want to give you, my friend. So maybe you that running back. Maybe you just keep on trying to run away from the pain, from the hurt, from the betrayal, from the embarrassment. But it seems to find you everywhere you go. And maybe it's me. Maybe God talking to me as well. And all we got to do is lay it at the feet of Jesus Christ, my beloved friend. And all shall be well. Be blessed.